Hey, it's Joseph here. I've got a interesting product over here. And as you can see, it is from Beard Dynamic and it is called Space and Personal Speaker Phone. And up on top here, it says create the amazing technical specification of it. It is the loudspeaker 1.5 inch full range speaker with two passive radiators. And the power is five watts RMS microphone system, four of MEMs, USB type C, USB 2.0. And because I am not an audio professional, I'm not exactly sure what what RMS or MEMs mean, but I'm sure it means a lot to you if you know sound qualities and all. But the battery is lithium ion 2500 milliamp and battery life is approximately 20 hours. And the contents of this box is Beer Dynamic Space Personal Speaker Phone along with USB cable, USB C to USB A adapter, drawstring bag, and instructions. And it is designed in Germany and made in China. I think that's what pretty much the box entails. Enjoy, everything we do affects our environment. This box therefore consists 100% of recyclable paper and cardboard. And I see a Bluetooth mark over here. So I guess they are very conscious of the materials that they use. And just as a brief introduction of Beer Dynamic, they are quite well known for their sound quality in the headphones. I have not personally tried them, so I do have somewhat of expectation in terms of the sound quality and the quality of the device as I approach this box. So let's go ahead and undo this tape. So we got a packaging that says Beer Dynamic Space Personal Speaker Phone again. Thank you. We are delighted that you have purchased Beer Dynamic Space as a reliable companion in various situations. And I just wanted to mention the fact that Beer Dynamic have provided me this product sample for me to do showcase purposes. So I did not purchase this. And on the back side of this paper, it states the pure focus on sustainability. So I expect all of these packaging materials to be made with very sustainable materials. And overall packaging is quite well presented as well as being sustainable. And this specific color is aquamarine and I kind of like the bluish tone to it. So I decided to go with this one. And here is the pairing cable. The cable tie is done with this paper-like string. And as I undo this cable, you can see that it is USB-C to USB-C cable. It is quite long, I would say about three feet long. And it does have their logo on it. And here I had a little package and I thought this was plastic, but this is compostable, environmentally friendly plastic. And here is the USB-C to USB type A adapter. So I suppose if you need to adapt to USB type A, you can do that. And then we got the main device over here. And we're gonna set it aside for now as we go through the rest of the content. And underside here, we've got a carrying case. Very nice feeling. You got this soft fabric inside. Instead of the plastic tie, it is sort of rubbery like thing so that you can just close this pocket, if you will. And then you got some sort of manual quick start guide. And it is fairly thick for a quick start guide, but it is multiple languages. So this one is English and different languages. And in fact, I have gone over the quick start guide prior to this because I actually have been enjoying another device in different color. And this specific one is charcoal color. It is a quite nice looking with this sort of fabric like finish. But one thing I did want to point out is the fact that the other color came with the matching cable color and this one came with the aquamarine cable as well. So I suspect that other color options will have matching cable color. So as you can see, you can see some sort of icon throughout as a ring. It kind of looks like a donut. In Imperial, it is about five inches wide. So you can kind of gauge the size of it. 
So you can certainly carry it one hand. So this is meant to be portable. And onto the side, you got some sort of hole for microphone and then Kensington locked to lock this device up. If you're in some sort of conference rooms and such, you wanna make sure this device is secured. And then you got some sort of LED light for power indication and then USB type C and then on and off button and another microphone. And as you go around, you'll see that there's two other microphone as well. So a total of four microphones and then their logo and then onto the bottom of it you can kind of see their logo again and a couple of words here but i do want to note the fact that here is a very soft rubber so actually even if you lay this on a very hard surface there is a very good sort of grip to it this being somewhat of a base heavy device it actually eliminates all the base vibration that may come from the speaker so it is very functional it is kind of feeling like it is filled with the uh, air so I guess that this is coming from their expertise in sound and speakers and such to compensate for a lot of vibration that's created by this powerful speaker although it is a 5 watt it was generating quite a bit of punch so I suppose that comes into a good action there and then as you can see you can kind of store this it is magnetic so you can kind of put it in there but I think it is magnetic just because of the giant speaker inside. So I think you are meant to just kind of push that in a little further and they'll just kind of snap in like that, which is very nice touch because you never know you're going to need that dongle and carrying that around in a separate bag could get easily lost. And another notable thing here is the quarter inch thread. If you want to use it for your personal desk and you're just needing to fire the speaker towards you, then you can certainly use a tripod like this and then basically use the leg and the ball head to face it towards you. And I kind of have been using this device this way since I'm the only one who's using this device. But in a more of a conference room setup, you'll probably just rest it on a table. But it is very considerate for them to include a quarter inch thread in there just so that you have a way to mount or manipulate in terms of the angle. So very quality and thoughtful design throughout. I really appreciate the color choice. It really suits any sort of office environment. Very professional looking. And I am not sure if this has any juice in, but let's go ahead and turn it on. Battery high. Battery high, so it does have a good amount of charge. So you hold down the power button for a few seconds and then it'll just turn on and then the LED light will turn on and you can control the volume by tapping this icon and you'll see the LED ring light just kind of dimming as you press this button and then charging up or going around to let you know it is a full volume and then you can either press the battery button to indicate what kind of charge it has. Green is obviously good. Red will probably mean that it is running out of battery and such. And here is another button for multifunctional button, just like any other Bluetooth devices to play and pause music or do a skipping, that sort of thing and hold down for assistant type of thing is all possible through that. And then you also got a Bluetooth function. What I have read on a manual, you can connect up to five different devices one at a time but you can have all five registered and then you have a mute button and you can answer the call and then hang up the call and those will be indicated once you are in some sort of call mode and this does connect to your computer via single USB cable so let me go ahead and do that so take out the USB type A connector and then the other end goes to USB type C port here, which doubles up as a charging, but also wire connection to your computer. So with this, I can select this as a speaker from my computer and basically play music if I wanted to. But also at the same time, you can do conference calls and answer calls with this device because it has good amount of microphone with a good quality. And I have tested throughout different scenarios 
throughout my day since I had multiple meetings and calls and I basically had it connected to my computer this way and also via Bluetooth to my phone and whenever somebody calls via messenger on my computer then I can just answer and then just talk to them instead of fiddling and trying to find the headsets and earphones to talk to them and also if a family member calls me through my phone then this will also ring so I can simply answer there and then answer the call in a very similar manner and it just became really easy to go between my PC and phone I don't need to go ahead and connect different type of connections it just stays connected it is charging so yeah it just became a really easy solution only one downside that I have found of this device was that the turning on and off sound is somewhat very sudden and disruptive but they do also say that you can update the firmwares later on so maybe with the firmware you can either mute it or make it into a simpler sound as a ding or ping or something like that so that is to be seen and I think it would only be fair and I think it would only be fair if I were to do some sound tests or at least the microphone test your device is connected so it does have that voice prompt and as you can see the Bluetooth icon has been highlighted letting me know that my phone has been connected it also is connected to my computer and obviously just playing a song with a speaker and picking up with a microphone wouldn't do the justice but at least you can kind of get a glimpse of what that sounds like I definitely do not have trained ears but I can certainly hear the punchy bass so that is something a bit overpowering in my taste so I think it would be good to have some sort of EQ control perhaps through the firmware update was my opinion but the overall music quality is still very good and actually through the call it is much better because you can hear the bass tone of other people's voice very well so in regards to the sound i think this setup was more preferable to calls than just listening to your musics because it tends to be kind of bass heavy but at least that's what my finding was whenever i kind of tested out this device and also i just turned on recording through this device now so everything should be picking up through this device that has been connected so this is what it sounds like microphone testing one two three one two three this is a sound test of beer dynamic space and this is what my voice sounds like with about two feet of distance to the device and there are different points of microphones so I guess they kind of work in conjunction and I'm not exactly sure how much of a processing that is being done on top of it but there should be sound that is sort of bouncing all around my room and just kind of being picked up by this device here does it sound any different as I move away from the microphone and perhaps talk to the wall or does it sound different as I pass by and then talk to this wall? So I'm not exactly sure how it all gets picked up, but I'll let you judge that. And another testing that I wanted to do, I bring up the mechanical keyboard, sound isolation test. So here I just kind of turned it off and now I'm just gonna type away. Let me just go ahead and give it about two inches. And this is how I'm gonna be typing. And then how much of a sound is it actually being picked up are you hearing lots of typing noises over my voice is there any sound isolation or noise cancellation that is being done I can see that it is being picked up quite a lot so so I don't think there is a lot of noise isolation that is being done but at least you'll be able to hear it and to be fair, any noise isolation is usually done through the app itself. So if you're using Microsoft Teams, Teams itself has noise isolation, so it will do its processing on top of any of the sound that it hears and a lot of different type of messenger does very similar thing on their app or the software that is built in. So perhaps 
just delivering the raw sound off of the device to the application that you are using is not a really bad thing either. So I just wanted you to be aware of that since I was just testing out different aspect of this device. And in regards to the battery life, I always kind of had it charging or at least connected to my computer. The most amount of time that I have tested this device for. But if you intend to leave this device on your conference table, and then use it occasionally, then you can see that it holds battery for quite a long time because this device has been sitting in a box for quite some time and it is indicating the battery is high. With that, I can trust that it is going to hold its charge for quite a long time, which is good. And for the short hours that I have carried this device throughout, it just didn't even budge in terms of the overall charge. So that is what I can report to you in terms of the battery life. And this is my very first time I kind of tested out a conference speaker or portable speaker on my channel. I thought this was professional enough of a device where it needed to be on conference tables and such. And it was quite interesting as well as it turned out to be a quality device. So if you have liked this content, please like and consider subscribing to my channel to continue watching these type of videos. Thank you so much for watching as always. I'll see you next time. Bye.